Let us pray. Blessed Father, as we gather today, I ask that you will bless the work these officers are doing. I pray, Father, that as appointed peacemakers, they will continue to fight for the innocent ones, the oppressed, downtrodden, and all others who rely on a group such as these present tonight, and also the ones who are working to bring justice to this world. Please, Father, provide them with the tools to continue the fight against crime that they have been selected to do. Continue to hold this group together as a team to ensure they have the strength to fight the fight. And Father, let us never forget what you told us in Matthew 5, 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. And Lord, we also thank you for the food that is here tonight to the nourishment of our bodies, and our bodies to your service. In Christ's name, amen. amen. Thank you, Inspector Burris. With that, ladies and gentlemen, you are all welcome to help yourself. Buffet service is now open. We'll pick back up with the awards and retirement program as dinner starts to wind down. Dinner served. Once again, my name is Marcel Lanoue. Be serving as your master of ceremonies tonight. You know, this, uh, this is our third annual law enforcement and retirees uh, banquet, and it couldn't be possible without the Biloxi Bay Area Chamber of Commerce, especially Tina Ross Siemens, Gene McGrory, all the chamber ambassadors. So won't you all please give a round of applause to these wonderful people. So uh, as I mentioned, it's uh, my third time to MC. If you've been here with us the last two years, you've heard me talk about superheroes. I'm going to spare you. That's an old bit. It's been done before. It was good stuff, but we're going to move on to something else. So uh, uh, with that being said, I was watching a movie a few weeks ago, uh, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, it's from 1983, and it's called The Right Stuff. If you've never seen this movie, it, I highly recommend it. It's very, very well done. But uh, it chronicles the, uh, the story of America's first astronauts um, and what, it, what NASA had to do to select these, these men. And uh, this was in the early 1960s. The Cold War was in full swing. The space race was uh, really raging at the time. And in, uh, in deference to the ladies in the audience, it was just men that NASA was looking for. So. Times have changed, uh, but back then it was just men. So uh, this movie, as I said, it chronicles the, uh, the story of America's first seven astronauts and how they were selected. And um, NASA had to come up with uh, an idea. What, what kind of person do we put on the top of a rocket and shoot him off into outer space? So they, they considered race car drivers, uh, stuntmen, daredevils, circus acrobats, all kind of different crazy stuff. And they finally settled on military men, uh, probably because they could take orders. So they came up with, a, uh, with an initial pool of 500 or so candidates. And from that, NASA said, well, they're military guys, but we want pilots, not only pilots, test pilots. And they had a few other requirements. Education, we want college degrees, but not just any degree. We want engineering degrees, science degrees. They couldn't be taller than 5 foot 11. They couldn't weigh over 180 pounds or else they wouldn't fit inside the spacecraft. So of those 500 or so men, they whittled that down to about 120 or so um, candidates. And they put these men through an exhaustive battery of tests and examinations, uh, physical tests. They had them put their feet in buckets of ice water and see how long they could hold them there. They put them in isolation chambers for a week, two weeks at a time to see if they would break. Uh, medical examinations, they were probed and prodded in every way imaginable. Psychological examinations interview after interview, 
They interview the men, their wives, or families, or friends, or co-workers, colleagues, neighbors. And finally, after months, they found seven men who had the right stuff. And I couldn't help but think of the parallel <clears throat> between those men and those who apply to become police officers. Uh, I read a, st a statistic, uh, one of which was from the FBI, where it said less than 8% of those who apply to the police academy actually make the cut to become full-fledged officers. So you actually have as much of a chance of becoming an astronaut as you do a police officer. It's crazy. Uh, and officer candidates are put through many of the same rigors and evaluations and tests uh, as astronauts. Physical tests, conditioning, psychological profiles, medical tests. There are physical requirements, educational requirements. So to all of you men and women with us here tonight, the ones that are not here with us because they're serving our community on the street, you all have the right stuff. And we salute you, applaud you, and thank you for your service. So it is my honor to present to you uh, a man who certainly has the right stuff, Chief of the Biloxi Police Department, Mr. John Miller. Wow, that was something. That was really something, Marcel. Thank, thank you very much. Well, first, just let me thank everybody for taking the time to come out tonight. I can't tell you what a pleasure it is, how much the men and women of the Bluxy Police Department appreciate the community, a community that, that really cares, shows their support, and just goes the extra mile for us. We know that a lot of communities don't have that. Matter of fact, I think probably the majority of the communities don't have that. And we appreciate it very much. It's, it's great to have men and women who, who enjoy their department and, and, and love working here. We appreciate them. It's great to have a mayor that supports us 100%. It's great, again, just to have community, individuals that will stand up for us and, and, and speak for us and, and help us out whenever uh, we, we need to help, which is quite often. So tonight we're going to honor a few retirees, I think there's three, that have, you know, these, these, these guys, and they're all guys tonight, these three have spent the last 25 or 30 years, the biggest portion of their life, uh, they dedicated it to the Biloxi Police Department. And we think that's certainly worth honoring. Uh, they've moved on to other things now, but they're still a Biloxi policeman. And I can tell you, I just called one last night and ask him to come to Mobile and pick me up because I was stuck there. And uh, he had a 102 fever. And he said, I'm on the way. And he told Mike Wills, well, I'm on the way to come get you. But we had to back him down with a 102 fever. Our conscience wouldn't let us do that. But that's the kind of dedication that, that these folks have. There's not, there's not a one of them that I know that I couldn't call today and tell them we need you. And they would step right back in to help us out. Again, I wanted to thank the, the Bay Area Chamber. Uh, special thanks to, to Wayne Hingen, to uh, Tina Ross Seaman, Leslie Barfield, Gene McCrory, and Donna Kane. Marcel, thank you very much. Year after year, you're here for us, and we really appreciate that. Rennie Sherman in the back is uh, here to film everything, and he just does a great job, and that's, that's part of the community that I'm talking about. So thank you all. Special thanks to you for everything that you do. You're always there for us. And without further ado, we'll move on. Thank you. Sure. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are uh, very fortunate to have with us tonight uh, Mayor Fofo Gillich. So we'd like to invite him up to... Uh, Say a few words, ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Mayor of Biloxi, Fofo Gillich. Thank, 
Thank you, Marcel. I don't know about all that honorable stuff. But uh, anyway, I do appreciate uh, what the Bay has done. And of course, you know, I couldn't be any more proud to be uh, a mayor with the, chief, with the chief we have and the department. We have. There's two things I could never do in life. I couldn't teach, and for certain, I couldn't be a police officer. But let me correct a little bit about the right stuff. And I agree uh, with you 100%. But we're all Biloxi, so we're the best stuff here. So. So thank you, Chief and uh, Marcel. But uh, uh, again, uh, well, I'm, you know, I've never been, since I've been mayor, and even before that, I've never been disappointed by anyone in our police uh, force. And, 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 and you know, and, and I do thank uh, the, the uh, spouses and the families because it, it does uh, take a special family to uh, you know, to do the things that you do on a daily basis. You know, put your lives on on the on the line. And uh, that, that really is uh, significant. So I, I meant it. Y'all have the best stuff here. So thank you so much. Thank you, Mayor Gillich. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we'll recognize our 2018 retirees, our annual award winners, the impressive accomplishments of several other officers and a few of our community partners. Uh, as you arrived tonight, you may have noticed a small table we have set off to the side. It's reserved to honor our fallen comrades in arms. It shows that they are with us here in spirit, and we should never forget the brave men and women who answered the call, served with dignity and honor, and made the ultimate sacrifice. We are ever mindful that the sweetness and enduring peace has always been tainted by the bitterness and personal sacrifice. We are compelled to never forget. And there are others who endured agony and pain, and deprivation and death. Let us remember and never forget their sacrifice. May they and their families ever be watched and protected. And in honor of our fallen officers, let us bow our heads in a moment of silence. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Along with Director Miller, we are fortunate to recognize officers and civilian volunteers. There are over 15,000 law enforcement agencies across the United States, and all its members are connected in kindred spirit. We're connected in that we all sacrifice to some degree for the betterment of our communities and give far more than we take. It is not an easy life and demanding in so many ways. Therefore, when a law enforcement employee or officer reaches retirement status, it is a significant accomplishment. And today, we recognize three individuals who selflessly dedicated a large part of their lives in service to our community. Will the following retired officers please come forward and be recognized? Investigator Ray Akins. And ladies and gentlemen, the following retirees could not join us here tonight, but it's important that we still recognize them for their contribution to the department's mission. And those people are investigator Michael Meleseka and David Shoemaker. So ladies and gentlemen, the officer of the year is selected from Officers of the Quarter. And the Officers of the Quarter for 2018 are as follows. For the first quarter, Officer Eli Humphrey. <laughs> Second quarter, Sergeant John Lamb. Third quarter, Officer Tadre Clopton. And for the fourth quarter, Officer Weston Maley.
And the 2018 Officer of the Year is Eli Humphrey. On January 13, 2018, Officer Eli Humphrey and a fellow Biloxi police officer were assisting the city of D'Iberville with a traffic crash on the I-110 southbound. The Biloxi police vehicles were parked one behind the other in the lane next to the concrete barrier separating the north and southbound lanes. The police vehicle's blue lights were active to advise approaching traffic to slow and move to the other lane. Officer Humphrey and the other officer were walking between their vehicles and the concrete barrier when a vehicle traveling at a high rate of speed struck the rear of one of the police vehicles, causing it to strike the other police vehicle. Officer Humphrey quickly sprang into action without concern for his own safety, grabbed the other police officer and pulled him over the concrete barrier, preventing him from being crushed by the crashing vehicles. Officer Humphrey's unselfish act under, mo under the most perilous conditions is the reason he has been selected as Officer of the Year for 2018. Eli Humphrey, ladies and gentlemen. And for this act, Officer Humphrey was previously awarded the Medal of Valor. The Medal of Valor is the highest award the department can bestow on a sworn police officer. This award is given for an extremely hazardous act well beyond normal duty involving individual acts of bravery or heroism performed in the line of duty where life-threatening situation and personal risk are involved. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Officer Eli Humphrey. I'd like to uh, split duty with my lovely assistant, co-mistress of ceremonies, Tina Ross Siemens. Tina. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I'm honored to be here on behalf of the Biloxi Bay Area Chamber. And as we continue this program, congratulations to all of you for being the brave law enforcement officers that you are. And I know you're under a great command of Chief Miller and, of course, Mayor Fofo Gillich at our city hall. That was, that was just a little inside joke from earlier today at a groundbreaking. If you were there, you might have got a chuckle out of that. So I apologize again to Mayor. Okay, good. <clears throat> the special presentation of the Medal of Merit. The Medal of Merit is the second highest award the department can bestow on a sworn police officer. The medal is an award for bravery, which recognizes officers whose actions are considered as having gone above and beyond the call of duty, or to recognize an officer who performed an act of bravery displaying courage while knowingly facing imminent danger. Would Officer Weston Maley come to the front, please? On December 1st, 2018, off-duty officer Weston Maley was traveling on Interstate 10 when he observed a vehicle leaving the highway and overturning into a water-filled drainage culvert. The vehicle contained one occupant who was trapped, his head barely above water. Officer Maley sprang into action without concern for his own safety, jumped into the water-filled culvert, and supported the victim until other first responders arrived on the scene. The victim was removed from the vehicle and transported to a local hospital for treatment. Officer Maley's quick thinking and unselfish act resulted in the driver being safely extracted, thus saving his life. It is for this reason he is being awarded the Medal of Merit. Congratulations. On to the Dispatcher of the Year Award. The Dispatcher of the Year is selected from the Dispatcher of the Quarter. And Dispatcher of the Quarter for 2018 I want the following people stand and be recognized. For the first quarter, Ramona Wolf. <clears throat> Second 
Second quarter, Jennifer Holland. Fourth quarter, Danielle Scrametta. The 2018 Dispatcher of the Year. It's Ramona Wilf and Jennifer Holland. On March 13, 2018, the Biloxi Police Department dispatch received a call from the crisis hotline in reference to a suicidal suspect. Dispatcher Ramona Wolf was able to make contact with the subject and quickly gained his trust, convincing him to give her his address and kept him engaged in conversation until the appropriate agency could respond. Dispatcher Wolf went above and beyond her duties and training by making it possible for him to receive the treatment he needed. Dispatcher Wolf showed extraordinary compassion and genuine desire to help others during this incident. Therefore, she has been selected as Dispatcher of the Year for 2018. And on July 25th, 2018, the Biloxi Police Dispatch received a call from a very distraught subject advising he wanted to commit suicide by jumping off a bridge and did not want to disclose his location. Dispatcher Jennifer Holland remained calm, built a rapport with the subject, and kept him talking while patrol units checked the bridges in the city. The subject was subsequently located by GPS at a local casino and transported for treatment. Dispatcher Holland went above and beyond her duties and training, which made it possible for him to receive the treatment he needed. Dispatcher Holland showed extraordinary compassion and genuine desire to help others during this incident. Therefore, she has also been selected as Dispatcher of the Year for 2018. The Civilian of the Year Award. Would Specialist Lindsay Akins come to the front, please? During the month of October 2018, the annual Cruising the Coast event was held in Biloxi, which drew large crowds and heavy traffic. Intel Specialist Lindsay Akins was assigned to the Event Joint Operations Command Post, JOC, located in Edgewater Mall parking lot. The JOC was comprised of personnel from several different agencies, which include Harrison County Sheriff's Office, Mississippi Department of Transportation, Mississippi Department of Revenue, and the Mississippi Analysis and Information Center. Specialist Akins was tasked with relaying real-time real -time information to officers working the event and monitoring the real-time camera feeds of the event area. Her efforts were crucial to successful police operations during the event. Specialist Aiken's strong work ethic, attention to detail, and willingness to go above and beyond her call of duty is why she is being selected as a Civilian Employee of the Year for 2018. And Lindsay is Ray's daughter, so the greatness runs in the family. <laughs> Next, we've got the Investigations Division Performance Award. Major DBAC, Investigations Division Commander, selected two of the investigators within the division to be recognized for their accomplishments throughout the year. Investigator Richard Hilliard and Investigator Nicholas Sonier. During 2018, investigator Richard Hilliard was tasked with and self-initiated several complex cases that required his exceptional ability to obtain information from suspects and witnesses. These cases included several local crimes as well as multi-jurisdictional and federal investigations. Investigator Hilliard successfully investigated complex drug cases that led to multiple arrests and the seizure of firearms and several thousands of dollars. His vast knowledge of the street gangs that operate in the city of Biloxi made it possible for him to identify and arrest several violent gang members. 
His use of innovative thinking combined with a thorough, methodical approach to investigation of crimes has enabled him to make successful arrests, prosecutions, and case closures. Investigator Hilliard's experience, attention to detail, and investigative te techniques bring great credit upon himself, the Biloxi Police Department, and the City of Biloxi. It is for these reasons he is being recognized with the Investigations Division's Performance Award for 2018. During 2018, investigator Nicholas Sonier set himself apart from the rest of the investigative division by managing 243 cases. Several of the cases were very complex and time consuming, but investigator Sonier was able to resolve the cases which led to multiple felony arrests. In addition to his investigative duties, Investigator Sonier is a hostage negotiator with the department and trains new investigators. His diligence in pursuing his assignments and ability to resolve a large caseload make him an invaluable asset to the Biloxi Police Department and the city of Biloxi. And it is for these reasons he's being recognized with the Investigations Division's Performance Award for 2018. Are y'all having any fun? <laughs> okay, I just need to lighten the, the moment for a minute there. It's getting kind of quiet and solid too. Okay. The Operations Division Performance Award is an award that is chosen by Major Lesnar, Operations Division Commander. It's someone from within his division who is recognized for their compliments throughout the year. Would John, Lew Officer John Lewis, please come on stage? <clears throat> Officer John Lewis is assigned to an extra patrol detail that makes daily contact with small businesses around the city, working with them to find solutions for the for the unsheltered population, and the is the biggest complaint the business owners have, and finding a tailored solution for each business is difficult. They all have different views on the subject, and each unsheltered person has their own unique set of circumstances. Officer Lewis makes it a priority to attend meetings and classes hosted by local outreach programs and has at times been successful in pairing an unsheltered person with the appropriate program. Thank you for that. We really, really, really appreciate that. Officer Lewis is the inf the informal leader for the detail and is relied on to organize events. He makes decisions on which areas need focused action while working with the other city organizations to accomplish specified tasks. He has a genuine and unwavering concern for the small business owners, the city's unsheltered individuals, and the department as a whole. It is for these reasons Officer John Lewis is being recognized with the Operations Division Performance Awards for 2018. It is quiet in here. It's, it's, know. You know, it's, come on, man. Let's lighten the mood here. Some music or it's, you know, something. something. Tap dance for something us, dance. Tina. Come on. So moving on now, the Administrative Support Performance Award. Major Wyndham, our Administrative Support Division Commander, selected one of his employees to be recognized for their accomplishments throughout last year. Sergeant William Payne. The year 2018 was a time of great growth within the Biloxi Police Department with long-awaited promotions of supervisory personnel taking place. Before that would happen, many employees took the initiative to step up and perform supervisory duties without benefit of promotion. And Sergeant Payne was one of those loyal officers working tirelessly with the Community Relations Unit for the last two years to consistently provide the best possible service to the department and the citizens of Biloxi. And Sergeant Payne is an invaluable asset to the unit and the Biloxi Police Department and it is for these reasons and many, many more that Sergeant William Payne is being recognized 
with the Administrative Support Division Performance Award for 2018. I promise we haven't practiced any of this script because the final was sent after we even got here. <laughs> so after I got here, I said, okay, Marcel, we need to work together and make sure I know what I'm saying, what you're saying, what you're reading, what I'm reading. Well, I was kind of organized, I thought. I had the wrong ones marked that I was gonna read, so I studied those. So the ones I'm reading, I'm just reading. <laughs> I hope it doesn't reflect on anyone, but here we go. Keep your toes to keep it interesting. That's right, that's right. Okay. Major Murphy, our Administrative Services Division Commander, selected one of his employees to be recognized for their accomplishments throughout the year for the Administrative Services Performance Award. Mrs. Sherry Hocamp, would you please come on stage? <laughs> Mrs. Sherry Hocamp is the Biloxi Police and the Fire Communications Center Supervisor, starting her career with Biloxi in 1985. She has completed numerous leadership programs with the Association of Public Safety Communications Officials, APCO, and served as a chapter president for Mississippi. She is an adjunct instructor for APCO and the Mississippi Board of Emergency Standards and Training, sharing her vast knowledge with over 36 classes in 10 different states. Mrs. Hocamp's strong worth ethics, devotion to training and teaching, and passion for the job make her an invaluable asset to the Biloxi Police Department and the City of Biloxi. It is for these reasons she is being recognized with the Administrative Service Division Performance Award for 2018. Congratulations. If I knew you were taking notes and practicing your script, I really could have messed with you and then just, you know, make it all uncomfortable. I practiced the wrong one. That's apparently you did. <laughs> we're fine, no problem. Just like we rehearsed. We did. We so, did. ladies and gentlemen, now we'll have a special presentation of the Humanitarian Medal. The Humanitarian Medal is the highest award the department can bestow on a citizen. This award is given to an individual who shows a high level of compassion under complicated, unusual, or hazardous conditions where the citizen used excellent judgment and demonstrated an exemplary level of humanity. Mr. Corey Griffin, ladies and gentlemen. On December 1st, 2018, Mr. Corey Griffin was driving past the Mississippi Gulf Coast Coliseum when he observed officers struggling to safely secure someone. This person was running into Highway 90 traffic in what was believed to be a deliberate attempt to be struck by a passing motorist. Mr. Griffin quickly sprang into action to assist the officers in restraining the subject in order for him to be transported for medical evaluation. With the actions of Corey Griffin, it was possible for the subject to be safely restrained until medical personnel could arrive, and it is for that reason he's being recognized and awarded the Humanitarian Medal. Corey Griffin, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Tina said it's a long one. It's the so long it's... one. I practice the shorter ones. Well, on an on a up note, a high note, this is our final department award, is the Chief's Award. Would you like to present it? <laughs> I'm so used to get delegating, you know, it comes easy for me as the director. This award is given to an employee or employees designated by Director Miller as deserving of special recognition for their contributions to the department's overall mission. Would Officer Todd Stewart Please come on stage. <clears throat> in, tw in 2018, Officer Todd Stewart was transferred into the position of Biloxi Police Department's CALEA manager within the Professional Standards Unit. He immediately accepted the challenge. Part of the challenge Officer Stewart would face included gathering required information from the past three years in order to bring the Biloxi Police Department up to CALEA standards for the inspection which was to occur within months. Officer Stewart accomplished 
the task by professionally working with every division in the department to acquire the necessary documentation. During the process, he developed standards and implemented procedures to streamline the collection of information in the future. His head-on approach and his attention to detail was apparent from the moment C-A-L-E-A, is there another? Kalia, Kalia. I'm not in this Sorry. world, Kalia. Inspection team arrived. With minimal on-scene corrections, Officer Stewart's work ensured the Biloxi Police Department passed the inspection and were certified by Kalia for another three years. During the same time frame, Officer Stewart assisted with several other functions throughout the department to include training, was assigned as a motor unit during different events, and the continued updating of the Biloxi Department of Police Policies and Procedures. Wow, that's, that's a lot. Thank you for that. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> yep, thank you, you're right. Flip a coin. What? It's a flip a coin. Flip a coin. <laughs> Stum wrestle over that one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, also receiving the Chief's Award, Major Christopher D. Back. Major Christopher D. Back is being recognized for his teamwork and support, the overall mission of the Biloxi Police Department. His dedication to the Biloxi Police Department is evident in many ways. He practices an exemplary work ethic, participates in various community projects and organizations, and makes himself available to his personnel as well as other command staff whenever called upon. When Major Lesnar had the opportunity to attend a, a training which would take him out of state for several months. Major Deback took responsibility for the day-to-day -day operations of the patrol division, while still successfully supervising the criminal investigations divisions. And for these reasons, Major Christopher Deback has been selected to receive the Chief's Award for 2018. The Biloxi Police Department is fortunate to have an excellent working relationship with the city's administration, other law enforcement agencies, the business community, and most importantly, the city citizens of Biloxi. We can't thank each of these entities enough for their dedication and support to our mission. And tonight, we'll recognize some of them with the department's Community Partnership Award. As I call on the winners, we would like representative to come forward and accept the award. Our 2018 Community Partnership Award winners are Mr. Jerry Gammons and family. We also have the Golden Nugget Biloxi Hotel and Casino. 2018 Community Partnership Award. Hickman's Metal Recycling, 2018 Community Partnership Award. Hickman's Metal Recycling. <clears throat> the Beau Rivage Resort and Casino. The Salvation Army. And finally, the IP Casino Resort and Spa. Ladies and gentlemen, these wonderful businesses, these entities, they support the Biloxi Police Department, the city of Biloxi. Let's give them all a round of applause for what they do. Thank you, Mother. Did we call them on? Yeah, we did. Oh. Yeah, we did. Oh, that was the we IP, I thought. She got the IP. Yep, we got them. We got them. Don't mess me up, Butch, man. You're, you're, you're killing me here. So, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Chief Miller and his command staff, we thank you for your support and appreciation by attending this evening's event. Chief, did you want to make any final remarks? I'm going to put you on the spot. Just uh, not at all. <laughs> uh, if I could end in prayer, Inspector Burris, if you'd come up and, and end us in prayer, we'd appreciate it. Thanks, everyone, again for, for coming out. Thanks for your support.
Before we pray, I um, want to tell you something. John asked me the other day if I had any uh, travel plans this year. And I told him at my advanced stage, I hope to get to the restroom a little quicker now. <laughs> Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for this time tonight. We thank you for the men and women who have served this city gratefully. We thank you for Mayor Gillett and Chief Miller and all the other supervisors that have been here tonight. And I just pray that you would go with each and every one of them, dear God. Continue to bring them all home safely at night. And we ask these things in your precious name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, for those officers who have earned the right to wear the badge, the men and women, the administrative staff, support personnel, those who have not only the right stuff, but the best stuff, let's give them all a big salute, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for coming out. We look forward to seeing you all next year for the fourth annual event. Thank you all and good night.